didn't even start. I'm still angry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. A frog? Well, this makes everything better, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, tell me. What'd you find? Telling you won't do, I have to show you. Hi. Uh, I made a booking for two for this afternoon. Could you put us on the terrace? It's more romantic. Thanks. Yeah, Patrick. Lovely, see you then. No, Fred, I wouldn't seduce you over a meal. That'd be very sophomoric. I didn't think you were trying to seduce me. Come on, how could that thought not have entered your head? Your denial that it did intrigues me. Bite me. Lisbon! Come take a look at this. What? Oh, yeah. Mr. Rayburn? You sure the widow doesn't know where it is? No, she's genuinely broke and genuinely scared. You're not soft on her, are you? No. Maybe a little. We need to talk to the lawyer. What's Bennett? His... We need to talk to him. You need to stay well away. Did you say maybe a little? She's a gorgeous grieving widow. Of course, maybe a little. Don't worry, it's not going to affect my work. I'm a law enforcement professional. Jeez. I believe you fell for that old cell phone gag. Old cell phone gag? I invented that right there and then. Rather brilliantly, I thought. Oh, please. I've seen that done a dozen times. What do you mean, where? On TV. Oh, on TV. Well, anything can happen on TV. The question is, where have you seen that done in real life? It's not a fake turd or anything. Then pelt. Catch. What is this? Carbon placed under extreme pressure. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we can't keep this stuff. We can't? It's against regulations. No, it's not. Why would it be? I won the money fair and square, and I spend it fair and square. Where do the regulations come into it? Where's our stuff? Your stuff? Well, you didn't just get stuff for the ladies. That'd be creepy. Who's your daddy? Ah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> She simply did what you do so well. With an air of confidence, she made an educated guess. Where else would you dump a car around here? She's a good guesser. Well, yes. That's a possibility, too. Yes, and that's what you object to, isn't it? Not that she's a con artist, but that she's so good at it. Maybe even better than you. Not at all. I... All right, yes. Not better than me, mind you, but she is good. And it's the good ones that are the most dangerous. Bad liars, cops are. I guess they're not used to concealing themselves under questioning. I'm a cop and I lie to you all the time. You never catch it. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but you're translucent, my dear. I always know when you're lying. Sometimes I let you think you fooled me just so you don't feel bad. Name one time. <clears throat> Last Thanksgiving, you said you're going back east to your brother's house. But I knew you are actually planning on having three days at home alone to watch old movies and eat ice cream. OK. So that's one time. What about Preciado? His stress pulse rate was thready. Dishonest. Ready? 
Hard to describe pulses. A dishonest pulse feels different to an indignant pulse. In this case, hard to say what he's lying about exactly, but he was signaling deception from first to last. There's something off about his whole story. Where are we going? To the zoo. They have new tiger cubs. Liar. Oh, very good. I'm gonna go and speak with Blakely. Blakely's not gonna tell you anything. Nah, Blakely's old school. He'll back his partner to the moon, but his wife might be less steadfast. I'll keep the husband in the office while you go and talk to the wife. Sweet. Are you ready? Yes. Feeling awake, mentally alert? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. I want you to imagine a screen between you and I. On that screen, I want you to project a basic shape. Like a square, but not a square. Got it? Okay. Lock it in. Now I want you to project another shape and put that shape around the shape you already have. Okay. Excellent. Here's the fun part. Now concentrate and project that onto the back of my mind. Look right here. Open up your mind and send it to me. Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. It's a triangle inside a circle. No. It's not? No, I was thinking of an octagon inside a rectangle. Liar. All right. All right, you got me. Hmm, pretty good, huh? You got me and Rigsby the same way. How did you do that? Oh, that's nothing. That's just the calibration key to real mind reading. Now I have access to all your innermost thoughts. I am right. I'm serious. OK. So what am I thinking right now? You're thinking, I'm so glad Jane is joking around that he can't actually read my mind. No. Well, actually, yes, but, but not for the reason you think. What reason do I think? Never you mind. You're blushing. You are blushing. Hey, we're up. Ah, Jane kissed a girl. Well, yeah, it was... Yeah, on the cheek. Still counts. Counts as what? Nothing. Just saying. Do I really seem so sad? What? I was just asking you if you wanted to drive. You don't like it when I drive, you despise it. You drive way too fast. I drive just fast enough. You hate not being the one in control, and yet you're willing to overcome your irrational fears to cheer me up. That's a beautiful thing, Lisbon. Thank you, I'd love to drive. Never mind. <laughs> Red John is far more powerful than I ever thought. He's been way ahead of me this whole time. I mean the writing on the wall. I have no idea. That's a good clue, though, isn't it? Jared was trying to tell us something important. Maybe. Next time, we'll get him. Really is quite freaked out about this witchcraft malarkey, isn't he? Uh, yeah. We're gonna need to work a double shift on the stakeout tonight. Are you at least gonna tell me what's going on? Oh, come on. You telling me you don't know what's going on? You don't know who did this and why? No, but you're gonna tell me. How about I show you? You gonna be grumpy like this in the room? Yes, I am. I'm just asking. I don't think it's very professional. Seriously, don't push me. I said I'm sorry. You had express orders to stay away from Arloff. That's why I didn't tell you. You have total deniability. But that's beside the point. The point is, my brilliant plan worked like clockwork. What plan? This case is not closed. You haven't done anything yet. Not yet, but you watch. Look, 
And you know damn well why you assaulted a man. Oh, I just tweaked him on the nose. Technically, that's assault. Technically, he's an ass. He deserved it. Yes, he is, but this is not a schoolyard. You simply cannot do stuff like that. I did. I did it. And the seas didn't boil and the sky didn't fall. They will shortly. Walcott is on his way down here with a $1,000 an hour lawyer. If you give him a formal apology, he says he's willing to drop the whole matter. Hmm, let me think. No. Would you please be reasonable for once? I'm busy. Right. I am. I'm just thinking that uh, he's going to drop the whole matter in any case. Oh, really? I guarantee it. He's a shallow narcissist. It's all about image. And this whole business makes him seem small and silly. Damn it, Jane, he's in a trance, isn't he? I'd describe it more as a, a, a deep relaxation. Hypnotized, he hypnotized him. Well, I was doing a favor for the organized crime unit. Those cowboys? Time to go, guys. Yeah, I was just about to get the truth out of him. He killed two people. If you walk very quietly to the door... How many might... times have I told you no hypnotism? It's illegal and it's unethical and you cannot keep on doing it. Just calm yourself, woman. It's no big thing. Oh, really? This man's lawyer is right this minute coming down the hallway wearing a mean face. Something tells me he'll argue that point with you. Let's go. Well, let me get him out of his trance first, huh? Oh, be quick about it. Yes, ma'am. Andrews didn't do it. Did you sense that with your superpowers? Yes, I did. Uh, he's filled with anger, but uh, not fearful, guilty, murderous anger. That has a tang of ammonia about it. His is a more clean, righteous anger. Lemony. Lemony. This blind thing really works. Without my vision, I can tune into my other senses much more clearly. That's great. Let me go make you a superhero costume. What do you want to be called? What are you doing? I want to know what your face feels like when you're smiling. <laughs> uh, so, what's the deal, boss? Have forensics check him for any explosives residue. If he comes up clean, let him go. Will do. I'm still convinced there's a connection between Medina and me, so before you make me that superhero costume I'm looking forward to, could you take me to visit with his widow? Maybe. Thank you. And incidentally, you're smelling particularly good today. Is that cinnamon in the mixer somewhere? Lisbon? Learning about communication and leadership skills, building trust, something you could profit from. What's that mean? Like you don't know you have major trust issues? I trust people. I trust you. No, you don't. I don't trust you either. That's upsetting to hear that. And really, you don't trust me? Of course not. How many times have you lied to me, misled me, tricked me? Is that trust? No. Well, we have to remedy this. Let's do a trust fall. A trust fall? Yeah, I'm sure you did one on your CBI retreat. It's when you turn around and fall backward and I catch you. Oh, yes, we did do that. Mm -hmm. No. You won't? We have a long drive still. Ah, here we have two co-workers recognizing the boundaries of the professional relationship. So you want to trust me, but there is something holding you back. Yes, you're untrustworthy. It's my job not to trust you. Lisbon, I want you to know that you can trust me. No matter what happens, I will be there for you. I will. I need you to know that. If I catch you. Please. Fine. Come on. See? You can trust me. Oh, that worked. Suddenly I trust you. Uh-huh. I allow you to drive me around the country in this contraption. A serious trust. A perfect subject for a trance. It's all soft and squishy and malleable. And can you fix him? Lift the trance or whatever and make him remember what happened? Well, I could try, but without knowing the trigger, it'd be like you and I playing Marco Polo in the Atlantic. It'd take forever. And you get all pruney. Easier just to find a hypnotist and ask him. Ooh, she was some woman. Make the mighty agent Lisbon blush like a schoolgirl. Please, I did not. You know what I predict? Nope. Guess. Not just tell me. No, I think you should guess. It's good for you. I predict that Brandon Fulton will pay a visit to the Hanson residence this evening. You think? Well, you'd be too clever of him. Well, love is not blind. It's often pretty stupid. I'll arrange a stakeout. 
What were you thinking, by the way? Unbelievable. Believe, Lisbon. Believe. You gotta look at it this way. We've closed yet another case. Toying with mafia bosses is no way to close cases. It's stupid. Meh, you're just trying to find fault, and I know why. Oh, really? Yeah, you're still a little grumpy about the birthday present thing, aren't you? Will you leave that alone? Oh, unbelievable. You know, you got no reason to be grumpy anymore. medical school they get a stack of books and a dead human being that i'm afraid will change you brooke harper was warm and emotional you like her so she can't be a doctor pretty much the ama and boston general both have records of a doctor named brooke harper see uh, but it says here that she's 64 years old wow she looks pretty good is there a word for uncanny and irritating Jane, what the hell are you playing at? You can't tie people up. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I should think you would be. My apologies, Mr. McLean. We'll be back tomorrow morning if that's convenient. See you in the morning. I hope you got something useful for all the trouble you caused. Yes, I did. The story of the mad axeman Zachariah lives in these here woods. Ah, Z. Yes, Z. I would have gotten more out of him, but you came back too quickly. Reality check. I'm your supervising agent. I'm not your decoy. Oh. You should have waited. We agreed on that. What if Hardy had killed you right here? And then he would have led you straight to Red John. He'd be dead. But you would have Red John. I don't think you mean what you say. I think you'd choose life. What do you think wrong? No. No, you think wrong. Can't you see there's people who care about you who need you? You're being selfish and childish, and I want you to stop it. I wish that I could, but, you know, some things you just can't fix. Made me angry. It's just the way of the world. We still have our day. He's gonna talk. He's gonna give us red, John. Right. We yeah, have Hardy. Yes. And we saved a life. Yes, we did. We we did. Hooray for us. <laughs>